Hello, everybody. Um, I am uh, making a video today because uh, we found out uh, on Sunday that Alice was exposed to somebody that had COVID at daycare, and she cannot go to daycare even though she doesn't have symptoms uh, until she has a clinical negative COVID test. And I'm sure you guys have been in the same boat. Uh, fortunately, uh, we are all fine. Uh, we don't seem to be sick. And, um, you know, since I'm boosted, um, I should be able to be back and teach, uh, especially on the days that uh, Mrs. Benzel isn't teaching. So we're just kind of sharing the, the dibbies at that. So uh, we still go, are going to be uh, taking our skill one to three mastery assignment. Uh, so what I'm going to do uh, to kind of ensure that you have sort of a big ideas before you take the test, uh, I have a assessment one review PowerPoint video where we're just going to go through some sample problems of each skill. And then after you are done with the video, uh, the guest teacher will give you your um, mastery assessment. And if you are in person, uh, you will be taking your quiz on skills one to three. And at home, you should just be finishing your study guide on Delta Math and you will be taking your quiz upon return in your seminar. And the IP for next class for everybody is to have the skill for uh, Delta Math factor by grouping done. So make sure that you are getting started on that today uh, when you are finished with your mastery. All right, so uh, the main idea here on this first problem, this is your skill one problem. Uh, so the main idea of skill one is to take each factor and set it equal to zero. And uh, when we have find the zeros, that's one way we could ask the question, find the solutions, roots, uh, x-intercepts. These all mean the same thing. So let's actually kind of demonstrate with this one. Now, uh, this first one, I have a negative two, and we set that equal to zero. And I know that negative two is not equal to zero, so I'm just going to kind of cross that out and ignore it. Uh, but then the other ones, I do have, you know, some nice, well-behaved factors uh, that are going on. Uh, so I have x minus three equals to zero, and I'm going to put x plus three, uh, add three both sides. And I get that x is equal to 3. Um, and sometimes they may ask you to put it into a coordinate form. Uh, so in that case, it would be 3 comma 0. All right, then the next one, I got 2x plus 1 equals to 0. And I'm going to subtract 1 on both sides. And I'm going to divide by 2. So I get that x is equal to negative a half. And then the other one, I just have x plus 5 equals to 0. And I'm going to subtract by 5 on both sides. And we get that x is equal to negative 5. And that would be, uh, you know, a sample skill one. Uh, now, if I had a factor, you know, like let's say x squared minus uh, 52 or something like that, um, in that case, I would just like add 52 to both sides and uh, just know that the opposite of doing a square is square rooting. And then when you're square rooting, you would just do the plus or minus the square root. And that's what we're looking for. All right, bell work number two. Uh, this is finding the x and the y intercepts. Uh, notice that we use f of x and y interchangeably. Uh, so for an x intercept, y equals to zero. And we are going to be looking for any place where y is equal to zero. So on this one, I got uh, negative four comma zero. 
And I also have four comma zero as well. And then in a different color of ink, I will do the Y intercepts. So uh, the Y intercept is going to be when uh, X is equal to zero. And in that case, it's gonna be at zero comma eight. Um, another thing that we can uh, use, uh, so this is skill three. So skill three um, is using polynomial multiplication to come up with standard form. And standard form is sort of that ax squared plus bx plus c, where c is the y-intercept. And on this one, we're just uh, converting into standard form. Uh, so there's really two ways that you can do this. Uh, I think regardless, you do wanna make sure that you are distributing. So I'm gonna say that this is two X plus six and uh, we have an X minus two as well. And uh, I think the most efficient way at solving this is doing you know, some sort of a box method. Uh, you could also, distribute as well. Uh, so I have a 2x plus 6 and an x minus 2. So this is going to be 2x squared minus 4x plus 6x. And then uh, I'll have a minus 12. So this is going to be 2x squared, and then plus 6 minus 4 is just going to be uh, plus 2x minus 12. And that is uh, the final answer. So if I asked you, like, what the y-intercept would be, you could just read off uh, the minus 12. <clears throat> Those are the three major skills that you're going to see on today's mastery. Um, another type of question that we may have is we may give you a graph and uh, you may want to actually turn this equation into standard form. So uh, what you would do on this, uh, I have x equals to negative three. So that factor would be x plus three. And then on this one, I have x equals to negative one. And that factor would translate. So we just make the uh, opposite sign of the negative one. So that would be an X plus one. <clears throat> so my factored form would be X plus three times X plus one. And just to kind of show you the uh, distribution method compared to the box method, I'm going to do the distribution on this one. So X times X is X squared x times 1 is 1x. One 3 times x is going to be 3x. And I have 3 times 1, which is just going to be plus 3. So I'm going to have x squared plus 4x plus 3. And that is my standard form. And we were able to actually take a graph and turn it into standard form uh, just by connecting it into factors and then multiplying. So the main idea is that polynomial multiplication is factoring working backwards. So uh, these four problems really do go through uh, the main ideas of what you're going to be seeing on the mastery today. Um, and I think uh, these are some types of questions that are asked a lot uh, on the SAT, you know, like what are the X intercepts and what are the zeros and translating between the forms. So uh, with that, uh, what you will be needing to do um, after having watched this video is to uh, have a pencil at your desk um, 
there may be a limited supply of calculators. Um, and then uh, the test is on paper. So if you are at home, you'll be uh, taking it during seminar. Um, and then when you are done with your test, you will be doing your skill for IP factor by grouping. And I will be seeing you on Wednesday, um, most likely unless one of us does get COVID. Um, but if uh, things hold the course, I should be back on Wednesday. And uh, if Alice still needs to stay home, it will be uh, Mrs. Benzel's turn. So thank you very much uh, for listening in. And feel free to email me uh, if you have any questions or concerns.